Let him go. Yeah, I, I, I told him to. Not much point in being here. I think that one smuggled them in for Hazel. I don't think she's eating anything all night. Now you take it. That's all I won't disturb her. I managed to get hold of your mum. Are you rang her? Yeah, she's going to try and get a flight back. Why? So that she can be here for you. It's not like she can do anything. Well, no, but... Look, just tell her to stay put. And you'll phone her if anything happens, yeah? Wasn't expecting you back for a while. Got a big day's work ahead of me, Anna. Oh, don't be soft. You've been up all night. Nah, I'll be good. Could do with the distraction. How is he? They don't know anything until he comes round. If he comes round, that is. Yeah, you need this more than me. I still can't believe it. How's Hazel coping with it? Same as everybody else. Look, I'm gonna go grab a quick shower. Be back in five, yeah? Come here. See you in a bit, mate. Oh, I'll see it. Thank God it wasn't Adam. Kind of puts having a junkie daughter into perspective, doesn't it? What do you reckon he's saying? Probably more excuses because they don't know what they're doing. It'll be all right. Oh, and you know that, dear. you will wake up. And what's he going to be like if he does? I mean, what's the point if he's going to be a cabbage for the rest of his life? Say that. Well, it's the truth, isn't it? Not been and see him. He'd want you in there. I don't think so. You saying I don't know my own son? Now you get in there and tell him to wake up, or I'll drag you in myself. Hazel, came as soon as I could. How is he? Oh God. He's in a coma. The surgery went well, apparently. They won't know how bad he is till he wakes up. He's hanging on in there, though. Well, I'll leave you to it. Who are you? This is Jerry Jackson's dad. Can I see him? You all right? I need to get some air. Aaron. Aaron. You heard what Hazel said. Jackson would want you in there. Not family though, am I? How long is it gonna be like this? I don't know. A week? A month? Forever? You must have some idea. You just have to wait. So that's it. He just lies here while we do nothing. No. We hope. We go on hoping until he gets through this. He's a fighter. God knows he's had to be. Him outside. The chav. Oh. Not this. Not now. Did he have something to do with this? That's right. Look for someone to blame. Oh, I should have known. You probably played matchmaker, didn't you? The doctor said that he might be able to hear everything we say. So how about, just for once, he gets to hear something different?
So you're a mate of my son's, is that right? Uh, yeah. So did you see it happen? Yeah. Well, that's funny, because you haven't got a scratch on you. Aaron was just a bystander. It's got nothing to do with him. Yeah, it does. You don't have to do this. I do. Do what? What aren't you telling me? My son's lying half dead in there, so I suggest you start talking. <clears throat> we, uh... We had a few words. Well, a stupid argument. About what? This isn't helping. It's helping me. I tried to say that I was sorry, but he drove off. No, this has got nothing to do with it. Finish. After he went, I tried calling him. I think that's why I didn't see the train crossing. Because he was too busy answering a call from you. Right. No one knows that for sure. Aaron, this is not your fault. I'm sorry. Satisfied. I don't suppose I could have a word with her ladyship before you open. Yeah. Any more news? I uh, spoke to Paddy earlier. Jackson's dad's there. Don't think he's handling it too well. I'm not surprised. I dread to think what he's going through. You know I can always cover for you here if you want to head back up there. <sighs> I'm sure they don't want me around. I'll sip the kettle on. No, no, it's all right. I'll do it. You're right. You know, I bet you never even heard his phone an accident. You've got to accept that. Three little words. It's all there to say and none of this would have happened. Yeah, but people fall in and out of love with each other all the time, don't they? And they hurt each other. Just because you're blokes doesn't make it any different, does it? So you and your father-in-law hit it off. <laughs> like that now. I never even heard Jackson mention him before. He say much to you. Only that he was an idiot. <laughs> and now's your time to tell him. You know, I've got to admire you. Yeah? Banging around here after what you've done. Mr Walsh, look, I can appreciate that this must be a really terrible time for you, but will you please stop blaming Aaron? Who are you to tell me who to blame? You're no one. You're not even his dad. Yeah, well, I'm just saying. Well, don't. Because I am a dad. Only thanks to him, my son's probably never going to wake up. And even if he does, who knows what state he'll be in. So you tell me what right you've got to be here. You're not the only one that cares for Jackson. Oh, and I suppose he does. Don't make me laugh. Do you wish that was me in there? I do too. I take his place like a shot. But I can't. That's right. You've got to live with this for the rest of your life. If he dies, it's down to you. You killed him. Ah, uh, do you know what? That's enough. Tell me what you want me to do. And I'll do it. I want you to walk out of here. And never come near my son again. As long as you live. Or as long as he does. Aaron. <sighs> I've got Bob to bring him to the hospital. Must have frightened the life out of him. Don't listen to him. I was in the right old state. He's right, though. He's very good, Dad. Nothing Shouldn't be here. He needs you. No, he doesn't. 